Tell us the story of uh, the Canada, Canadian mining in the Congo. In the case of the, in the case of the Congo, there's uh, more than three billion dollars in Canadian mining investment in the Congo. Uh, there's a, a there's like a number of different uh, sort of uh, 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 kind of horror stories. Uh, uh, there's one example that's particularly controversial from the standpoint of the Canadian government, which is that the uh, in late 2009, the Congolese government rescinded a mining concession from First Quantum, which is a Vancouver-based company. And, uh, and uh, in response to uh, the, Canadian government, or the Congolese government rescinding this concession, the Harper government uh, uh, um, blocked the Paris Club of Better Nations uh, debt forgiveness uh, to the Congolese government. This is debt forgiveness that was agreed to by all of the other members of the Paris Club of Better Nations. This was debt that was accrued during the Mobutu dictatorship. Uh, uh, this is odious debt that the majority of Congolese, impoverished Congolese, should not have had to repay. And like I said, it was agreed to by the majority of the, uh, uh, of the Paris Club of Better Nations. And to put pressure on the Congolese government after they had rescinded First Quantum's concession, uh, the Harper government uh, blocked this this uh, this debt forgiveness. Ultimately, they were only able to stall the debt forgiveness, um, but they did so in the context of First Quantum having found having gotten their uh, their concession in highly dubious uh, circumstances. They had, uh, according to a 2002 UN report, they had uh, they had paid uh, uh, bribes and kickbacks to government officials. Uh, to to win the concession, and this was in the context of the still ongoing uh, civil war or, or multi-country war in, in the Congo.